Hello and welcome to Pentester Academy. My name is Rick Farina and today we will be doing AP List WPA2 cracking. As usual, please start at pentesteracademy.com and click on Member Access. From here, access Attack Defense Labs. And then scroll down along the left hand side where you'll find Wi Fi Attack Defense and Live Cracking. Today, AP List WPA2 cracking. Please select the server closest to you and hit run. From here, we can check to see what we are doing today. Two dual band monitor mode capable interfaces are present, and there's a client probing for an SSID that we know. We need to figure out the network pre shared key for Woodwork LLP. We've been given a dictionary of commonly used words and the aircrack suite. No third party tools are available except Aircrack Suite and Host APD. So here we go. As usual, I like to start with Airmon NG just to see what we've got available to us. In this case, we've got some helpful hints. We'll start with IW Dev. And we find, yes, indeed, we do have two wireless cards. Always good. And so we'll grab the first one and IP link set WLAN 0 down. We're going to put it into monitor mode with IW dev WLAN 0 set type monitor. And then IP link set WLAN 0 up. Okay, from here, I like to scan the airspace, see what's going on. We're going to do aerodump ng band abg on WLAN 0 and see what we've got. As promised, there is one client and it is probing for woodwork LLP. And we'll see what we can do with this guy. Now that we've found our device, how are we going to crack it? There's no access point, so we're going to make one. We're going to make one on channel 1, so we want to lock our sniffer on channel 1. And we also want to write out all of our packets to make sure that once we've got the client fished over to us, we've saved those packets so we can run them through aircrack. Okay, so we're going to lock to channel 1 and save our packets, and then we're going to open up a new window into the lab. Okay, as promised, we've got host apd, so let's go ahead and make a conf file for host apd. Interface equals WLAN 1, WLAN 0 is already in use, and we're going to do hardware mode equals G. I'm going to do this on channel 1. And the regular old boring stuff like the driver NL802.11, which is the basic driver for all of the Linux devices. SSID, we want to make sure we copy and paste to get all of that correct. Capitalization does count. Make sure you copy and paste as well. Auth algs, WPA equals 2, WPA key management equals WPA ESK WPA passphrase equals eh, what do we want this to be we don't know what the passphrase is we could set this to whatever we want like um, like um, this is the key uh, really doesn't matter what we put here the client doesn't know what it is where we don't know what the clients is and they're not ever going to fully connect to each other. What they are going to do, however, is try to connect to each other. I'm going to throw a little bit of debug on this so we can see just a little bit more. So we're going to add one D for more debug. And we're going to run this and see what we've got. So AP enabled, running with Woodwork LLP. Hopefully this is good. And there we go, we've got one client, ooh, trying to connect, trying to connect, trying to connect. It, it doesn't look good, right? Uh, authenticate, authenticated okay, association AID one, uh, sending one of four, received invalid MIC, sending one of four, received invalid MIC. So they're trying to talk to each other, but it's it's just not working. And that's that's actually okay because we've captured enough of the handshake material from the client to crack what the client thinks the key is. 
So we're actually going to stop aircrack uh, arrow dump here. We're going to load up aircrack. Now aircrack has a lot of options for running through different attacks against WPA and WEP, but for this one, all we really need is dash W and a word list. So we're going to run. I'm going to check, make sure we've got our files. Got our sniff captures and, and what we need. We're gonna do air crack ng w one hundred common passwords dot text, and then we're gonna grab our capture that we did while we were running our fake access point. If we're lucky, this is gonna go through and right away, no problem, we have cracked this key. That's really all it takes. The client sent its information and we get that information. So the next time someone says you need all four packets of the four-way handshake, you now know that that's not really necessarily the case. Uh, it definitely helps to confirm that they have the right password. And if you don't see all four of the four-way handshake, you, you can't tell for sure what you just cracked. But uh, whatever the client sent is what we cracked and we did successfully crack it. So in this case, we've hopefully got access to this network now. We just have to I guess leave the coffee shop where we grab the user and go to the office where that network exists. So remember, if you didn't test it yourself, it doesn't work. And I will see you next time. Thank you.